a little bit worried about where I've just perched my camera, so I'm going to try not to move. It is now Monday morning, my daughter goes back to school on Wednesday, Today I have got a full day of laundry. We are basically getting back into our normal work schedule which takes up honestly about 80% of our year. This means we have guests in our Airbnb over the weekends. I then do laundry on a Sunday and Monday. Have a little bit of time off in the middle of the week which at the moment is all going on working on the barn and then Thursday and Friday is once again cleaning the house ready for the next guests. So I'm kind of glad to be back on that schedule because the summer was incredibly hectic. We spent time away from home and we worked a lot, we made a lot of progress on the barn, the house was very busy, our daughter was at home all the time and if I'm honest I am kind of ready to be done with that. Now in terms of writing, I am still editing the Goldstone Tower and I don't really expect to finish in this vlog unless I manage to put on a massive burst of speed. I did a little bit this morning and I think I'm now into chapter 10. So the book has about 23 chapters and in terms of word count I am really very close to the middle of the book so that is fantastic. I'm feeling pretty good about the story. I would just like to be working a bit faster. I'm doing most of my copy editing at night after my daughter goes to bed and my concentration is not the best by seven or eight o'clock in the evening. So whilst I am managing to work and I am generally enjoying it, my schedule is not quite where I would like it to be. And I have also made the possibly rash promise to my newsletter subscribers that this book is coming out this month. When I made the promise at the end of August I was feeling pretty confident about that but now I'm kind of dwelling on the vast amount of work I have to get done before the end of the month. There is a copy edit to finish, there is a proofread to do, I haven't written a blurb or updated my website, there's the ebook to format, there is just a really big list at this point. I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive about getting it all done. So I suppose at this point all I can do is get to work. Good morning, it is Thursday. It has been a pretty busy week so far. My daughter went back to school yesterday and I spent the day out in the sun shifting rocks again. A lot of surplus stone has come out of the barn as we've been working on it and we just have piles and piles of rocks all over the place and somehow they always seem to be in the wrong place so we spend a lot of time moving them around. Today is back to the day job so I'm going to be cleaning very shortly. The writing is actually going really well. I wrapped up the copy edits on chapter 12 last night. The chapters in this second half of the book are definitely a lot shorter so I'm making really good headway. Also I think in general the second half of the book is cleaner than the first half. I had a better sense of where I was going in the drafting by the time I got to this stage. So I had to make fewer developmental changes in the second half which means there is less to tidy up in the copy edits. And I'm still enjoying the book and honestly it's just going quite well at the moment. When I look back at how much I've edited so far I'm actually surprised by how far I've come which is a really nice feeling. I will not say that the writing at the moment is all sunshine and roses though. I have been spending a lot of time recently thinking about my writing career as a whole. Now I do not make a significant amount of money off writing but I have treated it as a career for quite a number of years. I take this very seriously but I was kind of reflecting back over the last two or three years and honestly it's a pretty frustrating thing to do. I kind of feel like any time I have gained a little bit of forward momentum, started to bring in new readers, get more sales, I then experience a massive slump which pretty much puts me back to square one. And this has been going on pretty much since 2020. I kind of expected that once I'd published a certain number of books and built up my catalogue that there would be some kind of upward trajectory to my writing as a career and 
honestly, that has just not happened. And I think maybe I would be able to take things more slowly and be more patient if it wasn't for seeing so many other successes online. Now, this isn't particularly about envy exactly because I know that many, many authors can succeed all at the same time. But it is really quite frustrating to see authors just burst out of the gate and have a massive success with their first or second book or even to have their first series not do so well and then their second series take off. At this point I am up to about book 13, 14, honestly I've kind of lost track and I know there are a great deal of mistakes I have made along the way. This is not just a case of luck and I just haven't been lucky yet. There are a lot of things I could have done differently to have been more successful but at the same time to have published so many books and still not really seen any massive increase in sales between book one or two and book 13 or 14 is really frustrating. So I've been thinking about this a lot recently and I don't honestly know where to go from here. I can get sales if I spend money to get them but then the sales tail off again when I stop spending money and to be honest I only ever break even with advertising. I don't tend to make a profit and it's one of those activities where I always just feel like I haven't quite cracked it yet and if I just knew what I was doing a little bit more I would see more success but I'm just not there yet. So I'm wondering where to go from here and I don't honestly know what the answer is. Obviously the book I'm writing right now is a sequel and that is to a series that I do want to continue. I would ideally like to write maybe four to six books in that series but I've got no way of knowing if it is ever going to be a big seller. As usual I dived into the series thinking I was writing something reasonably commercial and the further along I get into it the more I realise that it just isn't. I have, as usual, picked tropes that don't sell particularly well or I just haven't written to tropes at all. This is the same mistake I make every single time. So beyond that series, I don't quite know what to do. Do I write more fantasy and try and write something that might be more marketable? Or do I switch to a completely different genre? I do have ideas for space operas, for dark academia novel, that's a very popular subgenre right now, but I've tried writing to market before and it has always been a dismal failure, so just switching genres is not necessarily going to bring me more success. I cannot wrap this segment up with a nice conclusion because I don't have one. This is just where my head is at right now. I'm still working and I will continue to do so but there is a lot of frustration, I'm thinking a lot about the future and I honestly don't know where to go from here. So I suppose answers on a postcard please. It is Sunday afternoon and a few days after I last updated the vlog so I thought it was about time I sat down and gave you some of my more recent thoughts. 
Now, in that last clip, I was talking about my frustrations at the stagnation of my publishing career. To be honest, I only let myself wallow in that for about a day. Yes, I certainly was frustrated with myself and a lot of the decisions I have made over the last few years, but it didn't take long for me to stop wallowing and start thinking about what I could do to turn things around. Now, I actually started thinking about the history of my publishing career and I was thinking particularly about my very first series which was a kind of steampunk fantasy with four books in it. Now despite this being my first series and it was very definitely not written to market, it hopped around between genres and honestly it was not particularly saleable. But on the marketing side I did do quite a lot of things right. I stuck to writing and publishing one series at once, I had a relatively consistent release schedule, certainly for the first three books. I set up my newsletter, I had a reader magnet and a sales funnel, and bearing in mind that we are going back a number of years here, it is getting on for a decade since I published my first book, I actually did a pretty good job with that series. But somewhere along the way, as I was transitioning from that series to the next one, I kind of lost my confidence in my own abilities as a writer. And honestly, that led to me making just so many mistakes. With each successive series I wrote afterwards, I stopped releasing as consistently. I jumped around between series, writing more than one at once, because I kept looking for the book that was going to break out and be a hit, which of course never arrived. I failed to do reader magnets for more than one series. I neglected my newsletter and looking back it is no surprise to me that my publishing career stalled. I have tried to put elements of this right in more recent years but I think that lack of confidence has really persisted and it has made my approach very lacklustre, very scattered. I simply have not made good decisions and a lot of that comes down to fear. Fear of what people will think of my books, fear of failing and honestly I have dug myself into this hole and I know that which is really the reason I am so frustrated over it all. So I started thinking about what I would do if I started over. Now I'm not intending to fully start over, I don't want a pen name, I'm not planning to take down any of my old books but there are certainly a lot of things I could do better in the future. For one thing, I could start treating my writing like a business again, which honestly I have not done a very good job at over the last few years. And a lot of that is because of the stress of the last few years, becoming a parent, moving homes, changing businesses, the pandemic. I was kind of looking to writing and publishing as a bit of an escape for myself, but I feel it is time to start changing that. A couple of months ago, I made some videos about outlining using the snowflake method and the book I was working on then is one that I've already drafted the first third or quarter of. It's called Project Immortals. It is the first in a potentially very long epic fantasy series and honestly I devised that series with the intention for it to be A long running and B more saleable than anything else I have yet written. And yet I only need to look at my history with this series to see how fear has kept holding me back. I knew when I started developing the series that it was a good idea and yet I will work on it for a few weeks at a time, then I will kind of get freaked out and put it aside. I'd like to say the same did not happen this summer because I just got busy so I didn't finish the outline, we went on holiday, I had other things to do, but I do think there was still an element of fear there. I could feel myself getting towards the end of the outline which meant I would actually have to go back to writing the book, I would have to commit to some choices around it and once again I kind of freaked myself out. But I do think this series has a lot of potential and I am once again trying to turn my attention back to it. Now I don't want to go into my whole business and publishing plan here, I might make a separate video about that, but really I just wanted to report that I am once again digging myself out of the hole and starting to shift my mindset again. I don't want to wallow in frustration at myself, I want to keep moving forwards. There is not going to be any quick fix here, 
even if I do publish Project Immortals, we will be looking at late 2024, really at the earliest, because I do have other commitments to finish before then. But the decisions I've made over the last few days do make me feel as though I am working towards something again. I am not just randomly picking the next book to write, muddling my way through it and then throwing it out onto Amazon with no further thought. I do have a strategy in mind. I have picked Project Immortals very deliberately for this strategy and there is a chance it could go somewhere. So I will talk more about that in the future. You may be able to hear that the heavens have just opened. We're potentially in for some quite big thunderstorms this afternoon. So I have got to rush off and close some windows. I'll catch up with you again soon. To, to rush outside to shut one of our doors because because of the placement of some of our furniture in this very small space you can't actually reach it from inside when it's open but it's very wet out there all of a sudden <laughs> it's gone very very dark let's see if we get some lightning that could be a lot of fun we suddenly have giant puddles everywhere I can hear thunder but I haven't seen any lightning yet but that was really quite intense not surprisingly, the lights are also flickering, so we could be in for a power cut pretty soon. Good morning, it is Tuesday, although to be honest this week feels like it has been a thousand years long already. We are very much back in the normal routine that most of our working year takes. And the writing is also going okay. The copy editing is pretty much on track. I've sped up a lot over the last week. I think I've said before that I'm into parts of the book that don't need quite as much work, so it is proceeding more quickly, but also I've just been spending more time on it. I think I'm up to about chapter 15 now, of 23 chapters. So I don't expect to get that finished this week, but maybe next week. I am still very much hoping to release this book in September, but it's going to be very tight. I don't yet know if I can do it, but I haven't set a pre-order and I think the number of readers waiting for this book is relatively small. I would like to get my act together a bit more for future books in the series because the start of this series just has been a chaotic mess, which is a shame in some ways because I'm really proud of this series and I'm really keen to continue it. I have two more books planned after this one, but I have not done a good job at releasing on time, marketing it well or just being organised at all. Now the other thing I've been thinking a lot about is Project Immortals. I talked a little bit last time about how I am using it to build into the basis of treating my writing more like a business. Project Immortals is very much at the centre of that so I have gone back and I've been looking through the outline that I was working on back in July. Now I'm pleased with the outline I have so far, I think it's quite solid but I've just got to the point where I'm writing out character arcs for some side characters and I've also chosen to do some antagonists which has made it very clear to me that there are some major plot holes and inconsistencies which I had not considered, which just shows how important this outlining could be for me. I always know I have issues with plot inconsistencies and character arcs. This is a recurring theme for me and I usually have to fix it in edits. So it is heartening to be finding some of these problems so early on. I can now look for ways to fix them and make my outline even stronger. So that is all from me this week. It has been a tumultuous week in my writing life and there are not many weeks when I can say that, but I've made some big decisions and now I really just have to buckle down and do the work, which in some ways is more scary than making the big decisions in the first place. I will be back soon with another video. Until then, keep writing everyone and I'll see you next time.